Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I am having this Dell ATX power supply from old PC. And the problem is that uh, it is not providing full output and its output voltage is fluctuating and sometimes it doesn't not it doesn't even turn on. So let me show you by connecting it into the series board. Always check your circuits and appliances with the series board. The bulb turned on for one second. As you know that to, to switch on this power supply, you have to short this green wire with any of the ground to turn it on. Now the power supply is making some ticking noise. And its cooling fan is running slowly. Let me show you by measuring its output voltage. So five red wire is for the five volts. As you can see that it is giving four point six and it's fluctuating a lot. And at three volts pin. it's okay but on the on this yellow wire yellow wire is for 12 volts output you can see that it's also fluctuating a lot so let's open it up and see what's the fault in it Now we have to remove all these screws. Now here's the circuit. First of all, after removing any case of the power supply or the power electronics, you have to make sure that, please make sure that when you are dealing with these power electronics, their main filter capacitor shouldn't be charged otherwise it will shock the shit out of you so remove this form and uh, the main filter capacitor is inside there these two points are of the main filter capacitor which supplies the voltage to the power supply so let me check So the capacitor is not charged so it's safe now yes it's safe so we also have to remove the screws to pull the circuit out and first of all you have to see all the circuit from the upside that none of the capacitor and any other component is black or damaged so as i can see that this capacitor is swollen this one and on inside these two capacitors are also bulky means three caps now and the uh, one more one more faulty capacitor is here and uh, all the other components seems okay so now we have to replace these four caps and let's see what happened next now i will remove these four caps it's 2200 uf 6.3 volts one is of 1000 uof 25 volts the other two are of 4700 uf so let's replace these now we have to remove all the bad caps one by one
now all the bad caps are removed now I have to replace these with new ones now I am replacing the new caps one by one now all the capacitors are replaced so let's check it by connecting the power socket I'm only I'm only going for a check now here's the plug now let's check the voltage at the main DC capacitor As you can see that it's now 331 volt DC now it's taking the voltage and uh, let's trigger its switch power supply is now turned on finally check for the voltage first of all the 5 volt output as you can see that it's now stable 5.07 on the other hand for the 12 volt section as you can see that it's 12.08 volts and it's stable now now let me show you by driving some load here's the 12 volt bulb as you can see that it's now working good it's driving some load so we have repaired this ATX power supply if uh, there can be more other faults about the bridge rectifiers and there is EMI circuit or other things but if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned for the next video